Okay, what I like to start with is the spine area because it's easy to apply. It's just all those spine and pelvis selections, they are easy to add. Like this, you can see it's this area. And we'll start with the spine selection. You can see right here that it affects this area. So we we'll need to add that to our model. I'll go to this location and I'd say it's about this area. You can see this. Like this. And maybe still some parts here, but overall this is the main spine area. So once you have this main spine area selected, you could save this as a new spine selection. And now apply whiting to it. So you see there's different blue parts right there, but the main selection takes place around here. So I apply less writing around these areas. Some less here. And a little more here. and we save it as spine. Okay, this is the first rigging. Now if you play an animation, at least this area should be affected by the animation. But before we try out the animation, let us add some more. And also to make this more easy, I'll disable all of those equipment pouches and stuff like that now, so it doesn't get in the way, like this. So, as the fireman doesn't have any pouches and stuff like that, we don't need them anyway. And it's more clearly to see the selections now. So actually, I'm going to delete all those equipment pouches, because if I use spine 1, you can still see they are selected, even though they are hidden. I just got rid of them, like this. Okay, yeah, this is more clearly way better. So you see, spine this is a spine selection we've already added to the model. Now we work with spine 1, like this, you can see spine. Okay, spine 1 seems to be the spine selection, maybe minus a little stuff. And let's get rid of this, this. It's uh, way, m it's a little more up, like the original spine selection. And we need to add these points and apply writing again. Like these parts again, they get very less white. Like this. This part seems to be the core, so I leave it that way and put this on less wide. And we save it as spine 1. Then we go from there to spine 2. You can see spine 2 as yeah, even more up than the spine 1 selection. And from that I will use this selection as a basis, subtract this, and go a little further, like this. Apply whiting. Less whiting here. And a bit more in the middle.
Also, those parts seem to be affected. Minus there. Okay, this one too. Let's take these. Okay, this seems to work. So let's save this as spine 2. Now let's continue with the next spine selection, which would be spine 3. You see that it's mostly at the top of the model and it affects the arms a bit and the shoulder area. So for this, I will hide the helmet and use the spine 2 selection as the basis. Subtract this, use all of this, and maybe a little bit of this here. These parts. You can also still see that the fireman, of course, it's a, it has less polygons, so the animations will not work as clean as with this model. And I will have to apply white again. It's a little less here. And more here. Less white again here. And here. And the center part should be around this area. So now resave this selection as spine 3. So now we have the general spine selection set up. We could already use this as an animation test, so I'll just do Okay, since we have the spine selections, let's try this on an animation. The animation will only work if you have a proper model CFG defined, and this is the case because I have the soldier pre-3D file opened up, and in the example files it's all rigged in the model CFG. So. This animation, of course, will not work properly right now because only the spine selections are part of the animations and all the other stuff will look pretty weird. So, with that in mind, I go to View, Viewers, Bulldozer, make sure that Disable Modest Config is disabled, like not checked, because otherwise Bulldozer will crash if you preview the animation. Now I will go to RTM preview, go to set RTM and load in RTM. So for an RTM you need to load in unbinarized RTM. An unbinarized RTM is in the Armor 1 animation files, but you can't use the Armor 2 animation files as they are binarized. But you can also use an add-on from Armor 1 and I will post a link to this add-on and you can use the animations files from that armor 1 add-on if you don't have armor 1 to get the animation files. Nice, right? So, you go to P and find your animation files which I have here, armor 1 animations. Then let's apply like a simple walk animation like unarmed unarmed and let's take the unarmed front walk like this and hit ok so now you can see my bulldozer crashed and just wait a second while i fix this and tell you what's wrong here Okay, well, I was able to find the error of this. It's because the example files, they don't have the soldier model defined. So, 
you need to add this entry class soldier armor man like this so the soldier model that we edited actually uses the armor skeleton otherwise the stuff will trash okay now i go to back to the original models i go to view viewers bulldozer apply new rtm well let's let not go with the walk. I want this one to run. And he should have a weapon raised and should be a rifle and run forward. Okay, you now see the model is in place and the spine selection works pretty nice. But you can see all this other stuff not because it's not doesn't have any selections yet but you can see the spine selection it's properly affected by the animation and it's okay and from that on you would work on and add new selections I will improve this tutorial if you would like some more information on the next selections to see how this character develops but this is the basis of character rigging in Armor 2, like adding the selections, adding different rights, then testing the animations directly in Bulldozer. You could also test the animations directly in Armor 2, but this should only be done at an advanced stage because it takes like ages, even with an SSD, to load up Armor 2 and it's way more easy in Bulldozer. So I hope you learn something from this tutorial. If you want anything else to know about in modding for armor or especially with the rigging, please leave a comment in the video and thanks for your time.